Bonsoir. 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 Quelque chose différent. Je comprends Hamish. Oui, Hamish. Comment la maison Donc, on, on, on va. C'est le Painted Bird, l'oiseau bariolé. That's good. On commence avec une chanson bi euh, biologique. Oh. Fantastic. a way of really touching you inside it's a lesson everyone must learn it ain't no use to try to run away or try to hide everyone must finally take a turn well you may be a person who believes it is your right to be free and independent to the core well once you learn the way of these exotic <laughs> you see that independence is a bore Toxoplasma Gunga is a microscopic bug who carries all its genius in its genes it may be on your fingers or the fibers of your run, but to this bug there's more than it may seem. When Toxoplasma gets inside the system of a mouse, it doesn't make him feel that he's unwell. It gives the mouse the energy to run around the house, but not protect the crowding feline smell. In fact, it makes the mouse become attracted to the cat. It doesn't show a single sign of fright. For Toxoplasma seems to know precisely where it's at. It is a very cunning parasite. The cat then turns the mouse into a ghost. And Toxoplasma joins its natural host. The cat. Fluke. 
bookworm is then eaten by an ant. And it lives a while as an independent worm. But then it does peculiar things that other insects can't. It infiltrates a group of the ant's nerves. The ant that spends its daily life as normal as before, working in the colony all day. But every night the parasite residing at its core manipulates it in the strangest ways. By the moon, the ant will climb the tallest blade of grass and sink its mandibles into the tip. And there it will be paralyzed until the night has passed, when back into the colony it slips. And this will happen every single night until a hungry cow will come to buy. Sexual reproduction. <laughs> the <sighs> Ampulex compressor or the emerald cockroach wasp is famous for her reproductive ways. For when she has the common wholesome cockroach in her gross, she sinks her stinger twice into her prey. The first attack will paralyze the roach's frontal legs, the second one goes straight into its brain. But if the wasp's to have a nesting place to lay her egg, the roach mustn't respond to any pain. The venom doesn't kill the roach, but incapacitates the nerves that tell its body to retreat. And since the wasp has killed the roach's instinct to escape, she takes her roach antenna as a leash. She leads him to her burrow. And she climbs upon the roach. And she lays an egg upon his abdomen. The larva chews its way into its docile captive host. And feasts upon the organs there within. The roach will stay alive another week until the worm can spin its own cocoon and climb inside. And in about a month, a larva worm has finally turned into a wasp who leaves its host and flies. And so the natural cycle is complete. So who says reproduction isn't sweet?